I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is RimWorld Isis Episode 10, where we have a poison ship over here being a problem. I wish there was some way for me to destroy that better without having to send people over there to attack it, but unfortunately there's not really right now. Definitely not the most ideal of, uh, of random events that we could have gotten. I'm gonna send Lana... I'm gonna send Lana out there. I'm gonna have Lana shoot it once and then run away, just so I can see, like, how many... Mallory, what are you doing? Cleaning rock rubble, no. Alright, so fire at this. There we go. Okay, so there's two centipedes up in there. Oh. Run away. Oh god. Incendiary launcher, please. Oh, Inferno Cannon, actually. Lana is on fire. Uh, Lana? Uh, Lana? Uh, I'm pretty sure Lana's gonna die. I can't have anybody, like, go put her out, either. Okay, now I think I can. Who happens to be closest? Cyril. Cyril, go. Quickly. She's slowly burning to death, and by slowly I mean very quickly. Goddamn. Cyril, hurry up. There we go. Unfortunately, she is unable to walk right now. Though hopefully that'll get fixed. Uh, could you, like... I know you want to tend to her. Actually, you know what? Pam, Pam, you can go. Haul this pistol. Or equip the pistol. And then you can haul it. Okay. And I guess instead of actually hauling it, just sort of drop it in here. There we go. So hopefully somebody will get around to hauling that eventually. Lana is being treated. Not with the good medicine. Good, good. I just want her bandaged up. I don't think she actually needs uh, awesome medicine for that. I do wish, again, that we could restack this wood, because I know it can stack higher. It can stack up to, like, 750 now. I think if I turn off wood being stored in here, and then I create a new stockpile, like, uh, oh no. What on earth? Okay, so... Oh god. Okay, so somehow the thing, like, maximized the window. It looks like it's almost back to normal now, more or less. Uh, there might be, like, a tiny bit of clipping off, but, you know, hopefully it's fine for the most part. Anyways, let's, uh, go to Architect. And we will delete zone? No. Yeah, okay, that's still there. So, I think we can just, like, designate, you know, this. That's a 5x5, five five. what? Oh, because it started, started hitting the wall. There we go. So, I'm going to remove a 4x4 four four here, and then I'll say a new stockpile, a 3x3. Three three, and this will store only wood. So, Pam, can you haul the wood? Only, only 75, huh? Although I guess it is like, you know, of varying quality across the board. Eating fire out. Oh, lord. Okay, that is pretty bad. Let's uh, expand our home zone to encompass all of that. 
There we go. Even Lana's out there fighting fires. Oh no. Oh, they're getting a little bit frisky. Everyone run away. I thought they were supposed to stay next to the poison ship. What are they doing? Alright, so for now, I'm going to restrict everybody to being inside. I will expand it a little bit so that it's, uh, inside. Expand it to be like there and up here. But basically, I want people staying inside for the most part. And we'll sort of do it like this. <clears throat> okay. Now all of you can get undrafted. Uh, there's an escape pod. Jump to location. Lewis has high research. Brawler, teetotaler, pyromaniac. I don't know if I want a pyromaniac in our base when our base is made primarily of wood, so I'm just going to let them die out there. That seems like the proper thing to do. Uh, Lana, I want you to like... Hold on, Wh which is the wood that's full? That one. All that. Is it not? Okay, it is, yeah. All the wood. Haul the wood. God damn it, Lana. Haul in priority one. Haul. Haul everything. There we go. So now all of our wood will be stored down here in stacks of 750. And I think it combines the quality when they're put together like this. Yeah, it seems to increase it to like roughly the average and just makes that the new quality for everything. Olga from Isis was wandering nearby and noticed you could use some help. She would like to join your colony for a while. She's a lore keeper. Traits are lazy and cold tolerant. Sure. Olga, you will be Barry. Barry. There we go. He's not actually in Isis. He was in uh, Odin. But you know, it's fine. We're just having characters from the show. This fire is kind of becoming a problem. Like a tiny bit. On the upside, though, all of our wood is getting hauled. In fact, I'd, I'd like, uh, oh, the voice crack, though. Voice crack of the century. I'd, I'd like it if all of the, uh, all the wood got hauled. Bear, you don't need to, you don't need to negotiate with people. You're pretty bad at it. Oh, Lord, Barry. What are you doing? I also never fix these guys' uh, sleep schedules. There we go. And Barry is restricted? Yes. Alright, Barry, you can get undrafted. The fire is far enough away that it probably won't spread up to, uh, up to our base. Okay, everybody's hauling. Or at least, you know, some people are hauling, and this job will get done fairly quickly. And we will, this 3x3 three three area will definitely be enough to hold all of that wood. Which is pretty neat. It is very convenient having it stack up to uh, 750 like this. There we go, it's all stored over there. 4,422 wood. I'd also like it if they hauled this steel out here. Uh, Lana is sleeping. I'll lower her hauling priority anyways back down to normal. There we go. Mallory, uh, it's, yeah, you can keep cleaning. No. Don't shoot Amber. Rude centipede. Unfortunately, it is going to be a lot harder to set up to attack them now. Fortunately, I think the poison ship will eventually disintegrate. Uh, 
Like, I'm pretty sure eventually it just sort of falls apart. Ideally. That's what I'm gonna hope for. Cargo pods. Cargo pods have a bunch of psychoid leaves. We don't really need psychoid leaves, so like we aren't gonna grab those. Uh, research almost done. Oh my god, more cargo pods. And these ones have tacos. Okay, that's necessary though. Uh, unrestrict. Who who's awake? And free. Pam is free. Pam's just stargazing. Pam, you're gonna go grab the tacos. Uh, restrict Pam, unrestricted. Pam, you are going to go up here and grab those tacos. Why is my thing capped? My speed. Um, I really have no idea. I think it's because of the fire, actually. No. Maybe it's because this is like moving in to attack Amber. Amber, I'd really appreciate it if you didn't walk next to the wall at least. Like, I don't mind you walking around outside near the centipedes, but uh, don't walk around next to the wooden wall when they have guns that shoot fire. Oh god. Fortunately, still not on fire somehow. Uh, Pam is almost up there. Go, Pam, go. She's got to go through so many trees to get to it, though. There we go. Uh, finished microelectronic basics. Let's research gun turrets. Fortunately, Pam's able to grab all 29 tacos, bring them back. I don't know if it's like each one individually is a taco or if it is 29 like taco meals. I think it's 29 taco meals. How is it slowed down? Oh, because Pam took the uh, the bad way to get back. Also, our steel walls are on fire. That's uh, not great. Fortunately, the walls are... You know, they're connected to the inside. That's unroofed? Yeah, that's supposed to be unroofed. No, Pam, run. Pam. Pam, get out of there. Okay. Okay, we're good. Pam, you're back to being restricted. It's too dangerous to let you outside. Uh, Undraft, there we go. I don't mind if the walls catch on fire occasionally. I don't know like what the logistics are between behind a uh, a steel wall burning down, but all of our people have one on repairing anyways, and also one on firefighting. So anytime it gets set on fire, it'll just get fixed like immediately. Yeah, it's just immediately getting fixed. Amber, please, they're gonna get you. Like, they're just sitting there. Oh, there it is. Okay, Amber's probably dead here. No, the fire got put out. Neat. But Amber is walking towards... Yeah. Amber's dead. Which is a shame, but really we saw it coming. So I guess goodbye, Amber. Yeah. That's fine. Even though the centipede menace is outside, we can still sort of, like, chill out here. Can I build a wall across here? Hold up. I can. Krieger. Krieger, buddy. I need you to be unrestricted. And uh, you, you know what you must do. You've got to build a wall. Or eat tacos, you know, either way, honestly. Amber is burned to death, maybe that means that it'll go back up to speed 3. There we go. Beating the fire out, uh, I guess. 
But really, I want you to, like, construct this wall. Okay. No, 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 no. You who stop that. Krieger, stop. Stop trying to put out the fire. Don't put out fires. That is fine. I just want you to construct this wall so that I can unrestrict people. For the most part. No. Why would you... Stop. Like, just, just construct. Other people can handle other things. There we go. Okay. I mean, I can't really unrestrict people. Oh, okay, now I can. So everybody gets unrestricted, and I will just have to, uh... Actually, I'll tell you what, I can do this, can't I? Uh, manage areas, new area, name this one, don't go here. And if I... Aside, oh, not that one. Expand allowed area. Don't go here. And we say, like, all of this. Just everything in here. And then, after I do that, I go back to restrict. I go to manage areas, and I invert. Don't go here. So now everywhere except that area is allowed. Which means people can now get work done, but not risk dying. Because we've effectively boarded off the, uh, the menace. I'd really like it if some people hold steel inside. But I guess research is fine too. You know, basically whatever. Also, nobody's really plant cutting anymore. Be nice if somebody got that done. Mallory, I really don't need you cleaning the rock rubble outside. Like, at all. Okay, so lots of people researching, which is good. We do need research to get done. And some people sewing. Which is fine. This needs to get rearmed. Okay, okay. I think I would like people to plant cut. Let's like plant cut it a one for a little while. I just want all these trees gone and then they can go back to researching. Does Barry not have a bed? Barry doesn't have a bed. Uh, Barry. Barry. Go sleep. In your bed. Where's Lana at? There she is. She has like an offset sleep schedule right now, I don't know why. Probably because of the time she had to rest when she was like covered in burns. I'm pretty sure she- nope, okay. She's actually well fed, apparently. Pain times 90%, manipulation plus 10%, metabolism plus 25%, okay. Weird. Enhanced metabolism. I don't really know what effect, like, blood filtration, blood pumping, and metabolism have. Like, you know, I know what they would do in terms of real life, but I don't know what kind of effect that has on this game. I'm gonna have them all plant cut at a one for a while until all these trees are gone from in here. And then, once all the trees are gone, I'm going to have them haul at a one. Alright, they are no longer plant cutting, which means it is time for... A hauling at a one. There we go. Everybody haul everything in. Also, I think I can just expand this, right? Yeah, okay. And then that's an area, this is a separate area. Good. So we can store 16 times 750, I don't know what that is off the top of my head. It's like somewhere in the range of, I don't know, like 13,000 wood. 
which is not bad. It's a pretty decent amount of wood. We don't really need that much wood for anything, ever. But we've got that much wood. This area is pretty clean out here now. Nice and neat. This is blocked by a poplar tree. You poplar trees, get out of here. Skedaddle. Let's construct uh, wooden floors. Just really like all over this area. I don't need all of it to be floored, but I would like all of it to be floored. Uh, people are hauling. Lots of steel. I might create another stockpile like right here for steel. In fact, you know what? I will. I will do that thing. So I'll say like, delete that. Set up a stockpile. This will be only steel. And then I'll expand the stockpile. There we go. So now all of the steel can be stored in there, and steel will not be stored in this one. Just so that it's all compressed down here, rather than having it strewn about. I figure it's probably a good idea to set up stockpiles like this, kind of. Um, we've got a lot of meal. A lot of meals. We do have to cook some meals, but Pam isn't cooking because she's doing other things. So, Pam, you're now exempt from your duties as a hauler. Because you really need to cook meals. On the upside, we've got uh, 3,000 steel there. No more steel left to haul there. And there's still like a tiny bit of steel down there. And by a tiny bit, I mean 1,800. But that'll do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys still enjoy the series. If you are, remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and if you aren't already subscribed, I really recommend it. It helps out a whole bunch, and you get these videos straight to your inbox every day at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But other than that, I'll see you guys all next time. Leave a like and a sub and a comment would be cool. And maybe you could check out more of my channel. Bye.